I want to touch on open heaven briefly and then I want us to pray. Amen. In Luke chapter 3 verse 21, we take it as our anchor scripture. Today I want to talk about uh, unlocking unlocking open heavens keys to unlocking open heavens amen amen hallelujah praise the lord Luke chapter 3 verse 21 the bible says when all the people were baptized it came to pass that Jesus also was baptized and while he prayed the heaven was open reduce the echo a bit please here yeah, thank you so while when all the people were baptized it came to pass that Jesus also was baptized and while he prayed the heaven was open I want us to to understand that according to the scripture we read is that everybody has a heaven over their lives everybody Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody has a heaven over their lives. And I said one of the most dangerous things is when a man operates under closed heaven. Deuteronomy 28 verse number 12. One of the most dangerous things is when a man operates under closed heaven. And Bible says that Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens. So heaven is one of God's treasures. It says, and the Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in a season and to bless all the works of your hand. It means when the heavens are open, it is easy for you to prosper in the works of your hand. When there is no open heaven, struggle becomes inevitable. When there is no open heaven, you struggle while you see. When you are not operating under open heaven, you, 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 you work hard, but there's no result. Struggle is as a sign of closed heavens. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. That is why everybody must strive to make sure their heavens are open. I pray for somebody today that your heavens will open in Jesus' name. That amen can be better. That amen can be better. That amen can be better. What is open heaven? Open heaven is the signature of God upon man. What is open heaven? Open heaven is the signature of God upon a man. What is open heaven? It is the unleashing of abundance over a man's life. What is open heaven? It is the unleashing of abundance over a man's life. When you are enjoying abundance, in short we are saying this man is enjoying open heaven. What is open heaven? It is the control tower of God on earth. It is the control tower of God on earth. What is open heaven? It is the it is the mastery of heavenly secrets. It is the mastering of heavenly secrets for terrestrial exploits. It is the mastering of heavenly secrets for terrestrial exploits. It is when you understand what happens in the heavens and then you begin to see exploits on earth. It is when you know how things work and then the things begin to work for you here. It is one thing to say my heavens are open. It's another thing for us to see heavens open. Because when your heavens open, you will know. Because breakthrough will be evident. When your heavens are open, testimonies will be heard. When your heavens are open, struggles are minimal. When, door, when heavens are open, people will say, this one, God has visited him. In other words, open heaven is divine visitation in your life. Open heaven is divine visitation. Some people here in the name of Jesus, you shall be visited. What is, the, what, 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 what is open heaven? It is the undeniable access to the realm of godly operations. For unbelievable success and progress. It is the undeniable access to the realm of godly operations. For unbelievable success and progress. It is the undeniable access to 
the realm of godly operations for undeniable success and progress. It means there is somebody who has entered into a certain realm and in that realm people cannot ignore the kind of blessing this man is operating with. It's called undeniable breakthroughs, undeniable results. People are talking in your building. Undeniable results. People are talking. You're getting promoted. Doors are just opening. Undeniable progress. Things are just happening. You're just making strides. You're just making moves. You're just growing. We are, we don't, be, before people can understand, you've gone miles ahead. It is being able to achieve things by the help of God. Open heaven is achieving things. Or being able to walk in the blessings of God by the help of God. Amen. Open heaven is accessing breakthroughs with minimal efforts. Accessing breakthrough with minimal e efforts. Maliwato na ngangana, you just succeed. That shall become your portion in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare where people are struggling, you will not struggle. Your amen is not good enough. I say where men struggle, you will not struggle. Where things are difficult for men, it shall be easy for you. I wish your amen was a louder amen. Anytime there is open heaven, it means God is at work. Praise the name of the Lord. Open heaven is things working without your energy. Kuna vitu, there are things you can push for and they don't work. Yet the others, by the grace of God, things just open, things just happening. That's the help of God. Amen. Open heaven. When heavens open over a person, you are the last person. You become the first. Matter of fact, when heavens open very well, you overtake those who have gone ahead. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Elisha told the young man, he said, go tell Ahab, rain is coming. Tell him to get on his, on his, on his horses and start running to Jezreel. Rain is coming. Elijah did not have any horse. Bible says, then he stood up from where he was kneeling, guarded his loins. Rain is coming. Ahab has gone. Bible said, then the hand of the Lord came upon him. And by the time Ahab was reaching Jezreel, he found Elijah there. Overtaking is allowed. When heavens open, you overtake those who have gone ahead of you. You shall overtake. You shall overtake. Amen. Sir, when heavens over your head open, there's what we call the deal of God on your life. The deal of God. Manunu, there's a deal. The deal is humanity. On you. You just look glorified. You just look better. You just look good. You just look, everything is working for you. You don't look problem. There are people who have money, but they look like they're, they're dying. They're sick. There are people who have who, are, who have money, but if you look at them, there's no joy, there's no happiness. You, you, don't, you don't see the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Sir, one of the most important things in your life is your heavens to open. Amen. When heavens open, people will know God is on your side. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. This issue of struggle becomes the things of the past. That is why if there's something the enemy will do, that is why there, 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 there are some mysteries of the heavens. Do you know we have the keys of heaven? We have the doors of heaven. We have the windows of heaven. We have there, all this, all of this, they have something significant in your life. Many people don't know how to unlock heaven. Amen. When God decides to open his good, heaven is God's treasure. That is why he said in Joel chapter 2, I believe verse 21, he said, Be glad you that dwell in Zion. Be happy. Why? Because the Lord will send you rain. Rain does not come until the heavens drop rain. Are you hearing me? Very fast, what is the key? One of the keys of unlocking open heaven, Madam, is prayer. E, this is one of the things that work, and many people ignore it. In Luke chapter 3, verse 21, the Bible says, while Jesus, when, while Jesus was praying, heavens opened. Do you know something I discovered? John began ministry before Jesus. John, the greatest miracle he ever did 
was to prophesy to the king who had taken his brother, brother's wife. And the man never succeeded in his life. Matter of fact, John died a disgraceful death. His head was chopped off. He never operated under open heaven. How do I know? John did not have clothes. He was wearing animal skin. John did not have proper food. John was eating grasshoppers and honey, wild honey. When Jesus came under open heaven, Jesus was eating corn. He was drinking wine. Ah! Jesus was living in a good house. Bible says one day, the disciples of John came to him and asked him, Master, show us your house. And told them, come. So Jesus had a house. Why? Bible says, when all the people were being baptized, it came to pass that Jesus was also baptized. And while he prayed, the heavens opened. So Jesus in his life, he was operating under open heaven. When there is open heaven, you achieve much with minimal time. Three and a half years, Jesus' impact till today, we are feeling it. It is over 2,000 years, the impact of Jesus. Souls are still getting saved because that man, the little time he was on earth, he was operating under open heaven. There is a way when your heavens open, even if you, are, you, 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 you have gone to another level, another life, your impact is still felt. Amen. <laughs> Nothing opens the heavens like prayer. Somebody's heavens will open. It is prayer that opens the heavens and make, makes God to talk. The voice of God from heaven is heard and is pulled by a man who can pray. Matthew chapter 16, verse 16, Matthew chapter 3, verse 16. Jesus prayed. When Jesus prayed, heaven opened, God spoke. Matthew chapter 3 verse 16. When Jesus was praying, his heavens opened and bam, the voice of God was heard. Give it to me, Matthew 3 16. Very important. Many people today, the problem is not anything. Is that your prayer, your prayer life is very small. Your prayer, your prayer power is very small. The Bible says, when he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water and behold, the heavens were open to him and he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. Verse 17. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. God spoke while Jesus was praying. When he was baptized, heaven opened and God talks. There is no day you touch heaven and God does not communicate. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me tell you, life becomes easy when your heavens are open. Very easy. Why many people are not going anywhere. Many people are mark timing on one level, on one place. It's because up at Jew, it is locked. That is why when you pray very well, the, the heavens releases rewards. One thing you must understand that the realms of the heavenlies carries reward. I think it's Matthew chapter 5, verse number 12. Heavens have a reward. If you know how to tap into the heavens very well, I want to show you something. They are, that's why wicked people know how to operate with the heaven, which is not to tap. Your, your star is not in, in with God. Your star is in the heavens. Somebody can tap into your star and exchange it. Say, rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward. Where? This heaven is not the heaven where God is. I said on Sunday, there are three dimensions. Of, there are four types of heaven. The first heaven is the heaven where God dwells. Bible calls it the third heaven. We have the second heaven where we have Philippians chapter 6 verse 12. Where we have powers in the heavenly places. We have another heaven. We have the host of the heavens. That is... Um, uh, Judges chapter 5 verse 20 it says and stars in their courses fought for Deborah. The stars were not in the heavens they were where pain can see. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you go out right now you, can, you look up to the heavens you see what? You see stars. Right? Mm -hmm. Then now we have the heavens over your head. This is where there is reward. If you can break forth into this realm. If somebody wants to make your life miserable they don't have to go to a witch. They don't have even to kill you. They just go and talk to the witch. They say, tap into his heavens. Let his heaven work against him. Sir, Bible says the sun will not smite me by day or the moon by night. You wake up in the morning, the sun is against you because heaven has been commanded to fight you. I, I showed you on Sunday that heavens, he has a voice and has ears. When somebody knows how to tap into the heavens, they will bring you challenge. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? Are we in the same church? 
time. That's why heavens have a voice. And what you say, heavens have ears. And heavens have voices. So the heavens over your head has an ear. What you command it is what it does. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay, Matthew 5, 34. Give us 34. Heaven has ears. So, mtu kia makufunga na kuroge. Anongebuza mbingu wapaju. Bam! Things go bad. That is why most men, let me say this, let me say this. <laughs> One of the major access that wives are given over their husbands is open heaven. He says, husbands, deal with your wives according to understanding. Lest your prayers be what? Be hindered. If your wife sits very well before God and tells God, this man is mistreating me, your heavens will close. A woman can pray. Bam! Heaven will open. As men, we must labor. If you don't pray three times, your wife. Uh... But I say unto you, do not swear at all. Neither by heaven. Look at this. For it is God's throne. Do not swear by anything. Because what you tell the heavens, heavens have capacity to respond when you talk. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. The heavens over your head, when you talk to it, it answers. Look at this. Look at what God is saying. I call heaven and earth as witness today against you. He said, I'm calling the heavens, not human beings. I'm calling the heaven and the earth as witnesses against you that I will have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. It means heaven records. If you choose curses, you will enjoy curses. If you choose blessing, you, you will get blessing. If you choose wrongly, whatever you have chosen, heaven is a witness. That is what the heaven will give you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So if you meet a diabolic man who knows how to, to, how to play with the realm of the heavens, they can command the heavens to work against you. You wake up in the morning, go open your shop, you sell nothing, you close. That is why there are people that know how to tap into people's heavens and cajole, this, uh, divert their breakthroughs. That is why when the breakthrough is too small, you don't share it much. Rather, when this expectation is too small, expecting, you're expecting to buy a car. You have gone to your village. You are announcing to everyone. Hey! Nisha Changabaka 150. Nangoje Fike 600 in Uganda. Aita Fika. Heaven! And be a witness against a person. Say, gather to me all the elders of your tribes and your officers that I may speak these words in their hearing and call heaven and act to witness against them. God is saying, I know what I created. I, don't, I want to bring judgment on the elders and the men of your tribe, but I don't want, because men can change their mind, I want heaven. And the earth. That is why the Bible says the earth shall be iron and the heaven shall be brass. When heaven closes, earth becomes tough. Am I talking here? Are we in church? That is why diabolic people know how to tap into the heavens. Look at Psalm 73. Let me show you. Look, look here, look here. Do you know why? I want to show you Kunawatu in this life huh, who are very rich not because they work hard. They know how to use the heaven. Are you hearing me? They don't work hard. They are not smart. No. They know how to tap the heaven. Let me show you. Seven, Psalm 73. Give me verse 1. L -l -l we'll go up to verse 12. Give it to me. It says, As a, that truly God is God. is good to Israel. To such are pure in heart. Okay. The next verse. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled. This is David talking. He said, as for me, my feet almost stumbled. My steps had nearly... I almost backslid. Why? <laughs> for I was envious of the boastful. The one that is wicked. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked. He 
said, me, I almost backslid. I saw people around me who are wicked. I know this one is a murderer, but the man is prospering. There are people you know who are doing better than you, and they don't fear God. Talk to me now. For there are no banks in their death, but their strength is firm. Okay? They are not in trouble as other men, nor are they plagued like other men. These are wicked. Okay? Therefore, pride serves as their necklace. Violence covers them like a garment. Okay? Their eyes bulge with abundance. Their eyes filled with abundance. They have more than their heart could wish for. They scoff and speak wickedly. Concerning oppression, they speak loftily. Okay? They set their mouth against what? And their tongue walks through the earth. How did they succeed? They tapped into the heavens. They come and check. Who in this church is about to have breakthrough? Then they enter your heaven and tap to it. And then what was in your heavens? They draw it on their side. And the earth answers to them. Give me that glass. Therefore, his people return here. And waters of a full cup are drained by them. Okay. And they say, how does God know? Is there knowledge in the most high? Behold, there are the ungodly who are always at ease. They increase in what? Hey, these are wicked people. But they're increasing. Very wicked. They are growing bigger. You say, ah, the wicked will perish. They buy a new house. Let me give you a story. Give us 13. <laughs> 13. He says, Surely I have cleansed my heart in vain. I'm like, Mimi, you met me, not talking to you. Me, David. Hey, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocence. I have tried to live right. Yet in my right living, I have a wicked man next to me doing 10 times better than me. The issue is this this one knows how to speak to the heavens and the earth produces you you don't know so you struggle i don't know if you're in church together am i helping you i was praying for a man one day here and when i talked to this man he came with the wife to see me they pastor, they, they serve in a very, one of very, I say, big churches in Nairobi. So they came to see me. They said, we want to see you. We have been watching on TV. We want to see you one-on-one. -on -one. It's okay. So they're on the prayer line. I finished the prayer line. I sat down with them. And no, when a woman is tired, she's tired. Huh? Huh? We men, we can, we can keep it. You can die as a man. We men, we don't go around. We can be dying, but we, we, we keep it. Man, is it true? When a woman knows I'll get help here, she will vomit everything. So the man said, ah, we just want you to pray for us to get breakthrough. Say, my husband, talk. To come bell them to me, on Come in your And I'm going my husband was very wealthy. My husband was doing very well. He mentioned certain places, certain names of certain businesses and buildings. He said, my husband used to own this, own this, own this, own this. My husband has acres of land somewhere else. He said, sir, as I'm telling you right now, this man cannot succeed. I am the one who has to go out, wash people's clothes, come feed my husband. I said, wait, How? He said, I don't know how we have come. Tell us what is happening. He said, all those buildings, all of them scattered. If I don't wash people's clothes, we will not eat. I asked the man, is it true? He said, mm -hmm. she has just said half. Ah! I told the woman, kneel down. The woman said, don't pray for us. Don't pray. Tell us what happened. 
How did we go down? I said, no, kneel down. If I pray for you, God talks to me fine. If he doesn't talk to me, you go. I say, no, man of God, you cannot tell us that. You must tell us why, what is happening. I said, okay, kneel down. So I prayed for them. I said, Father, I pray. You reveal to them what is the problem. Because even me, I didn't know the problem. So I prayed for them and they left. The wife was not satisfied. He said, no, no, no. We see it on TV. He's giving prophecy. No, no, no. They came back second Tuesday. I said, man of God, my husband is okay. My, my husband believes in you that because you lay down on us, it will happen. Me, me, see, I mean, you. Because come with a particular solution. I to say, Dicky. Man of God, what is it? To the woman, I don't lie. I don't prophesy. lie. If God has not spoken to me, I have nothing to tell you. He said, no. Man of God, I'm going for a fast. I'm going to fast for one reason. God to show you what is the problem. I said, Mama, you've done well. When I start fasting? He said, I'll start tomorrow. Say, good. Fast. When you finish, come. I asked, how many days? He said, I'll fast seven days. He said, no, make it 14. Fast. Because I knew she cannot. Because of her age. Ah! She shocked me. She finished. She came to church on Tuesday. I said, man of God, I'm finishing today. Did God show you anything? I forgot. So I don't even, I didn't even pray. Me, I forgot. The day she left, I forgot. Bible said, confess your sins one to another that you may be healed. I'm confessing. <laughs> she left. So when I saw, she me, today is the last day. I have come. What did God tell you? I said, Mama, don't worry. So I'm praying for people, but she's in my mind. Child, God. Child. So when we finish, I told her, see me in my office. So she came. Come here. I told her, I want you to go home. Come with your husband. He said, no problem. I'm not going. I'll call him when I'm in your office. <laughs> I wanted to be smart. At least I knew by the time she goes home, now I'll take it serious. I'll pray. Say, no, no, sir. Here. Hey! She called the husband. <laughs> And we are talking in Kikuyu. She was not telling the husband in a good way. Kimbia hapa sahi. I'm a Hey! Chukua. What is Chukua uba? Chukua nduzi. Kuja. The man came. The man came. Brrr. Told my man, just wait outside. He said, no, 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 man of God. I can't go outside. Somebody else will enter. I said, no, I'll go to sleep. He said, no, 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 man of God. He's coming. He kept calling the husband. Kept calling the husband. As she was sitting there, I'm asking God, show me what is the cause. The husband reached, boom! The man was sweating. I had already left my office, I was here. I saw the man seated. When I saw the man, I called him, said, come here. Now I know what is eating you up. I mentioned that name. When I mentioned the name, the woman shouted, hey! I said, who is that? He said, that is the brother of my husband. He said, sir, we educated that man. We helped that man. We gave him a job. He was working for us in one of our restaurants in town. He was our manager. He said, sir, that man is 20 times richer than us now. I said, the man exchanged your husband's star. I said, if you think I'm lying, as I'm talking to you, I will pray. Today, before you leave here, the man will call you. Because as I'm going to pray, he will feel what I'm going to pray. No man said, pray now, pray. Say, tell the husband, put your phone here. My, my, uh, my phone is here. Let's see if Joroge will call. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Sometimes I pray harder. Because I know there are people like those who, who are coming to test me. So they, they, they put their phone there. <laughs> I began to... As I was praying for them, when I finished, the man called. Chai! And the first question is, Mkukwani Mkwapi Mkwapi? 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 Till I don't tell him, go home. Everything will be well. But as you go home, you will meet him at home already. See, that man does not come to our house. For the last 10 years, he has never stepped in our house. I said, the moment he comes to your house, the star will change. Your star will come back on your head. I pray for somebody here. Anyone that is using your star and they are making money. They are using your star and they are building houses. They are using your star and they are prospering in their wickedness. Whoever has stepped into your heaven and scattered what belongs to you. Today, command Holy Ghost. Sir, I prayed for that man. 
husband and the wife, bam! They live in Ruiru. They reached home. The mistake I did, I gave that woman my number. She was calling me, updating me. Every... Man of God, we have taken Matatu. Tumefika. Tushuke. Ambe yu. Kwenu kena kwa kwa ushukake. I prefer giving prophecy to men. They, they, they hardly women. Eh, to go quite to Sasa to Meshuka. Mama enter your bunny. Uli say Mat Tampata. Come to Tampata. When they enter their home, eh, Pastor, at a gate in Fungliwa. Come back again now to talk to Mama Mengi Atu. When they entered, they found a man seated in their house. Seated. And the woman, because of anger, hey, we droga, we the I'm to ambia itarudi, nyota itarudi. So look at this woman. The funny part is this, the man did not talk. The man just told him, Simuni Sametu, and he walked out. Two days later, two days, two, two days later, I met the woman. She brought me a seed of 100,000. It's a man of God. At least now things are opening for my husband. I've not seen her again, no. <laughs> she only gave me one, one time seed. I wanted to close the heaven myself. <laughs> Open your hands. As I stand as a prophet on this altar, anyone that has projected evil in the heavenly realm against your life, let whatever they have done against you turn against them. Can I am like thunder? So, Jesus said, it is given to you to know the mysteries of the heavens. Are you with me here? Matthew 13 verse 12. It is done to you to know the mysteries of the heavens. There is a mystery. Kuna fit what wa There are things people don't know. Look at it. Give me verse 11. 13, 11. Look at this. It's answered and said to them because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it has not been given so there are people who will never understand this mystery verse 12 for whoever has to him more will be given the mystery of the heaven is you should not lack if you have little it is taken no, it should be if I have little, I receive more. Is it not so? But the mystery of the heavens is that if you have little, that is why poor people struggle to rise. And rich people continue becoming rich. It's a mystery of the heavens. The gap between the poor and the rich is very wide. They say the rich become what? Richer. And the poor is a mystery. If one man, a rich man, understands this mystery, they keep on rising. And the poor man who does not know keeps on going down. He says, And whoever has, to him I will be given more. And he will have abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. It's a mystery. That is why, madam, you must do everything to make sure you don't go down. One of Raya Kazia, 30,000. Kuna mutu deal moja abra 300 million. Na mna sema ni corruption. Anashikuwa leo, kesha natoka. Kwa jaribu kuiba kuku wone. Iba kuku. Ah, iba tu kuku. Five years in prison. True. The one with 300 million. Cash bill of, a, of 1 million. And is out. Why sir? It's a mystery of the heavens. Konga gari ya mtu Oyo mtu wa nduzi Konga gari ya mtu 
alafu sio mimi ndo ndudhi kwa sababu ndudhi yako itaenda ufungwe lakini mtu wa prado atoka kuangalia kwambe enda kwa insurance naende true ndio insurance upe it is to him that has little it's a mystery are you getting me ati mimi 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 mungu ni mwema mimi sina mimi sina tamani kwa tuna kidogo koja tutatembelewa itaenda god has given us the keys of the kingdom matthew 16:19 god has given us the, oh are you ready to pray god has given us the keys of the kingdom say i have the key louder Matthew 16:19 he says and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in chai any power holding me down I bind you any power holding my money I bind you any power touching my life I bind you power that wants me to die I bind you power that holding my breath to I whatever you bind on earth shall be bound Sit down. And you you are not binding anything. He says, "And will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth." You're not talking to me. Are you tired? Whatever you lose will be lost where? I lose my breakthroughs. I lose my car. I lose my promotion. I lose my hair. I lose my open door. My business will not die. I lose my house. I lose my marriage. I lose my children. I will not die. This will work for me. I lose my house. In the name of Jesus. Say I lose my fire. Today, your breakthrough will be loose. Are you with me? Matthew Jesus repeated it in Matthew 18 verse 18. Die. He said, "I swear to you, for sure I say to you, whatever you bind on earth be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth." So the heaven over your heads responds at your commands. Are you hearing me? So there's a way to naomba and then we lose breakthroughs. So you go to Chicago. You lose things. You can bind and you can God has given us the key. Say so have it. Today you'll get it. I you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> a lady came and told me, man of God, um my husband has said uh I leave the house. I don't know why. See because I'm, I'm not giving him children. I say ah. Uh-uh. Say yes. And they has told me he's giving me one month in Japan and talk. Cuz I can't give him children for the last 8 8 years. They not only that. My husband has gone out and he has is planning to marry the woman that is going out with It's okay. Let's pray. She knelt down and lay my hands. I said, "Father, the fruit of the womb is a gift from above. From where? Above. Lord, open her womb. God, open my eyes. Tell mama. For sure, I don't see you get children. It's a man of God why? This is the only thing that I need. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I have a job. We are living well. My husband has no any other problem. She dey hake him toto. It's okay. I said, but the problem is not your your husband. He said, who? He said, don't go far. You're fighting two people in your life. He said, no. I'm not fighting anybody. I said, leave it. Stop saying what you're saying. I'm telling you what I see. He said, man of God. Who? Okay, who? Who? I said, number one. your elder sister say what about her i said let's not go far did you have a wedding says i had a wedding how was the wedding so very good he said your sister did not come for the wedding say yes say why she was angry with me why 
because she wanted me to wait for her to get married first. But I got married. And because of that, she told me that her daughter will not stand in my wedding. I said, okay. So what happened? He said, my daughter never came for the wedding. I said, that's no problem. Your sister said, because you've married before me, you will not get children before me. Did I, you only say, Malakini, I don't think I'm Manisha. You don't think I'm Manisha? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I said, okay. I told her, how old is your sister now? She says, she's 55. And she said, you will not get children. She said, get children. Is she in menopause? He said, yes. She has not a child. Yes. How old are you? I'm turning 40, sir. Your sister said you not get children before she gets children. She's 55. When does menopause start? He said, sir, I don't know. He said, around that age, 50 going. He said, sir, what do you mean? I say, as long as your sister is not having children, you will not have children. Man of God, help me. What do you mean? I asked a question. Is there a way you can reverse menopause? See, it's not possible. Say, good. So as long as your sister has entered menopause, you have already entered menopause. Because as long as she has not taken in, you will never take in. I will kill my sister. <laughs> she went home. Talk to the sister. He said, I can't bear. And I repeat it. As long as Sijazam to Tota is But to come in oppose, as may you will never have a chance. Now her marriage is at the brink of breaking because somebody projected into the heavens and said, Heaven or oh heaven, make sure my sister does not get a child. What I hear every Tuesday is enough to make me an elder. This thing is not by age. Blessings, breakthroughs can be held in the heavenly realm. Your angel of breakthrough can be held. Daniel chapter 10 verse 12. The prince of Persia can hold your breakthroughs. I ready to pray now. I have very few prayer points, only 60. So we're going to pray them very fast. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Well, there are not many, 60 only. And if you pray well, we'll make sure there are 70. Some people here by force, by fire, you must build a house. Amen. By force, by fire, you must live longer. Amen. By force, by fire, you must get a job. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. Then he said to me, do not fear Daniel. For the, from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, do your words were heart. And I came because of your word, an angel was released. He said, Daniel has prayed for the first day. The first day. He was fasting for 21 days. It was all the first day. So he came down. The first 13. He said, But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me, held me for 21 days. He said, You prayed the first day you prayed. Me, the angel, came from heaven. I was coming with an answer. There's the powers in the realm of the heavens that caught me for 21 days. My question is this. Your angel of breakthrough was caught when? And for how long has he been arrested? He said, <laughs> Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, for I have been left alone there with the prince of Persia. Other angels did not come. It's only Michael that came. The next verse says, And after these words, I shall return and fight the prince of Persia and Greece. Sir, there are powers that can fight a man. Are you with me here? <laughs> that is why whatever you bind on earth. When Jesus said bind, he knew what he was saying. 